Yeah, we have some breaking developments at the San Diego and Chula Vista courthouses. Downtown, a victim just faced the man who raped her while she was unconscious, then bragged about it online. 10 News reporter Mimi Alcala is live with the victim's powerful statement. Yeah, the woman who we will call Jane Doe physically turned the podium so she could directly face Jason Berlin as she spoke about what he and two other men did to her that night and warned the public that there are pickup artists out there that want to hurt women so nothing like this happens again. For the third and final time, I am standing here today in this courtroom to bring this pickup artist community to light and to represent the women out there that are unaware they too are also victims and to the women that have yet to stumble upon the path of a pickup artist and their students. That night was not an oops or coincidence of events. It was strategically planned by these men who not only manipulated and raped women regularly, but blogged and profited from it mothers and fathers, people of all ages. Berlin pleaded guilty to raping her at a gas lamp apartment with two other men, Alex Smith and Jonas Dick. Jane Doe and a friend were picked up by Smith and Dick as the women waited for a taxi after leaving a bar. They were taken back to an apartment on J Street where Berlin was, and that's when she was raped while passed out in a room away from her friend. She did her own investigating and found out that the three men were linked to the website Efficient Pickup, where men reportedly learned how to seduce and sleep with as many women as possible. In court, she read blog entries she says were written by Berlin where he detailed her rape and other sexual encounters during his time as a student on that website, his mother broke down crying in court as those details were read out loud. She was escorted out. Now, the other two men were already sentenced to eight years in state prison. At the end of this sentencing, Berlin could face the exact same uh, sentence. We actually have a reporter in that courtroom right now who is updating me on what's happening. He says that Berlin took the stand and said that that was the worst mistake of his life. His mom is now speaking, saying that she's not trying to make excuses for him. She says he has Asperger's and she thanked the victim for coming forward. Now we will bring you all of the new developments um, with our reporter, Steve Fiorina, who is in there right now. And for now, reporting live downtown, Mimi Alcala, 10 News. Mm, thank you, Mimi. We also have breaking news out of Chula Vista. The man caught on camera brutally attacking his girlfriend in the South Bay was just sentenced. 10 News reporter Kalina Estrinos is live in Chula Vista to let us know how the girlfriend actually defended him. Virginia Kristen, this was definitely a dramatic scene that played out inside the courtroom here in Chula Vista. Here we have a man accused of kicking his girlfriend unconscious to now inside the courtroom visibly emotional and crying. Now, according to the offense, Anguiano wanted to change his plea because he says he was unable to understand what his previous lawyer had said. Now, here's the video from that night out at the South Bay motel. You can see in this video the defendant kicking uh, a woman who's said to be his girlfriend unconscious. Now, she actually took the stand here and said that she has medical records that prove that she did not break any bones, that she did not break her nose, which is what he's being accused of. Now, uh, the defendant also said that he was previously under the impression that he was going to receive a life sentence, which goes on the whole miscommunication on his side with his previous lawyer. Now with this new attorney, he says he has a clear-cut vision on what he's actually facing, and he's saying he is not guilty. Now, ultimately, once the judge reached her decision, which she said that she actually decided to deny the withdrawal to, to change the plea, and ultimately he was sentenced to seven, years, but inside that courtroom when that sentence was actually read out, both the defendant and the girlfriend or the victim tried to speak out and talk to the judge, but the girlfriend was escorted out and the defendant stayed inside the courtroom. Of course, we're going to have more on this later on right here on 10 News. Reporting in Chula Vista, I'm Kalina Estrinos, 10 News.